Alright YouTube, this is your boy LIGO, one half of Nintendo, and basically I've been, this is a response tag to GVGINU, he tagged me in a video for this, um, something that's positive is going around, talking about games and nothing about drama, nothing like that, so he tagged me, he tagged me in his video, so I respond to it. Uh, basically, what it is, is we um, there's 15 questions going around. Coupons tribe, Alex Van Dam, um, video gamer, um, Bill Hug, all those guys, you know, did a video response to you know to video game her. So I'm basically gonna ask these 15 questions. Um, again, once again, I'm recording on my Impulse. I just got home. It's 16, I just work basically eight hours at my architect job and the night before I work about six hours doing audio engineering and I got two more hours of audio engineering before I gotta go and take a 12 hour sleep. And of course coffee is crazy taxes. So other than that, so yeah, I'm doing the beeps again, the usual sound problem day. I'll try to clear up as best as I can when I'm doing this um, to upload. But other than that, I'm gonna answer the questions a little more detail than the others because not many people know. Since you ain't got a, a video, a live video feed of me, OKD, basically you have a video of Bayonetta, one of my favorite games of last year, up. And also the beat in the background is one of the beats that I, uh, I remixed and produced myself uh, from Zelda. So enjoy that. But let's get into these questions and get down to it. Question number one. How old were you when you first started playing video games? And that's a two point question right there. To me, it's like, I was about four, and the first two really games, video games that you would say would be, it would be um, the Tiger Electronic Handhelds. When my mom used to come back from America from doing visited trips and stuff, she came back, um, back to you know, my home country. She bought those Tiger Electronics, so we played baseball and racing, those generic things, and then I did get a little um, game and watch, the one with the fire, when you had to catch the fire guys and make sure you get them to the, um, the, to, to the safe spot, so with that, but to say console, the first console I ever owned, well not owned, but you know that was in my position to play was a Nintendo, NES, of course I got mine late since I was, again I'm in a different country than everybody else. First game I played was Super Mario Brothers 2 when everybody was raring to get Super Nintendo. So <laughs> that's that's how it is for me. Question two: What is what is it about video games that you love? Well, three things really. One, it's something I use to cool down. That's to relax, chill, play video games, cool down. Sometimes I play video games before I go to sleep. Sometimes just to cool down. Two. It's uh, I just like playing the gameplay. It's just something fun to do. It's just something that I could when, I, when if the game is good and the gameplay is great, I immerse myself into the game. And basically, three is basically the imagination. Seeing that I have played a lot of games. If the gameplay is good, let's say graphics and you know, and everything. If the gameplay is good and the story is not good, many times I have um. How should I say? Change the story in my mind just so it keeps me immersed. So it kind of helps my brain just, you know, keeps it active and everything else. And, you know, it could be help, maybe help me to get my scholarships and stuff to get my two degrees or not. I don't know. But just something like I, I do this, I still do to this day. If the story's kind of messed up, I'll try to fill in the holes and make it a cool story in my head about playing the game. If the game plays, holes. All right? Number three, can video, oh, can violent and graphic games be a bad influence on people? Uh, can, can it, it can desensitize you, but it depends. On, basically, games by itself, maybe about nine percent of the people it won't affect. Ten percent of the people, yeah, I think it's. It, it, it depends on the environment. If you're in a, in a hostile environment, your parents are not taking care of you, or you just got abused, or something like that, or you've been neglected, you can use that as an outlet. Yeah, it can trigger you to do horrendous things, but that's about maybe 
five to five percent, ten percent of people who act crazy in the whole world would do something like that. We've seen, but you know, there's really no correlation between the video games and the violence because it always it's not a, it's not a cause and effect. It's just something that adds to the flame, to the fire that makes it go roaring out of you know out of craze. So it can help. It's an aggregator, but it's not a like it's not the origin. So um, PC or console, both. Since my work setup is, you know, I, since I do architecture and engineering, I you know I build my own computers. I build me a powerful computer. I can play any PC games I want. I mean, I played Street, when Street Fighter 4 came out, I played it on. I bought it for PC, Sonic Generations, and even though I have the DS version, I have the PC version. Um, Black Ops 3 that's coming out. This that's coming out this year. If you don't come to the Wii U, I'll buy it for PC. And the same thing for um, Arkham Knight. Batman Arkham Knight, I'll buy it for PC, the reviews are good and everything looks good to me, I'll buy it for that. I mean, lucky for me that I found this adapter on Amazon that I can plug into my um, PC that makes me, that I can still use the um, the Wiimote Pro Controller and also the Wiimote itself, because I'm sorry, first person shooter with the Wiimote is just so good, I can't I can't give that up, Nintendo spoiled me on that. That is just the best way to play first person shooter in my opinion, I'm sorry. But if I don't really choose, I'll say console mostly because, like I said, I play most of the games. Last year, I spent a thousand dollars on software, so hey, console would be a preferred. But I like both of them. Do you watch Let's Plays on YouTube, and if so, who? Really, no. I I, I don't like Let's Plays because for two things: one, they don't hold my attention that much. I'd rather have somebody, if I like Katie's playing, like my little sister or my friends playing in front of me, we're playing games, I'll watch that live, at least I could interact with them, but uh, over the videos really, not that much, I don't, and two, because sometimes I see people playing games that I love, and they are horrible at the game, and it frustrates me, like Bear Hugger, Bear Hugger 29, man, when you played that um, Metroid Prime for the first time, and saw you stumbling to that, I mean, me and, you, me and, you and Alex had a little, um, <laughs> A little com you know, comment going going on, but that that frustrated me. That's one of my best games, and you just you, you scan it, and the shoe was like ah. And of course, the final fight one where you're not using the super moves ah, that frustrated me, dude. That frustrated me, and that's why I don't watch a lot of this plays, man, because of stuff like that. But you know, you know <laughs> if you watch a lot, um, if you watch a lot of this plays, do you have a favorite? I'll say, like I said, I don't have a lot of Let's Plays but videos to watch, but I'll, I'll name out two because of what I do, like, the guy who tagged me, GVGINU, Andre, he plays all those, we made um, Street of Range, Street of Range is one of my favorite beat em up games of all time, and he plays those remakes, um, the mods on his PC, so I watch those, cause that's pretty cool. And the next person I do, he's not a Let's Play, he most reviews and Let's Play, but he put production behind it, which I like. Is um some call me Johnny. He's a good dude. I like his channels. He was like one of the first people I subbed to when I you know I use one of my other channels and looking around for gaming. He was a cool person to watch. Um, what is your favorite genre of games? Huh, that one's favorite genre of games is action side scrollers, more Master Demon Blade stuff like that. You know, beat 'em ups. I love those. JRPGs, Chrono Trigger, um, Project X Zone, um, SRWs, oh I love those games, love those SRWs, those are, those are awesome games. Um, but you know, like I said, beat em up, so basically now it's called Hack and Slash now, because basically uh, beat em ups are now 3D, which is like Razor's Edge and Hyrule Warriors and stuff like that. You know, but like I said, side action scholars, um, Zero, um, the Zero series, um, Gun Vault, love those things. Platformers too, I like those too, if, if they're done the right way. Um, let's see here. Are you old school gamer or do you like to get the newest console? I would say both. I'm an old school gamer because I love, cause, because the one thing the old school being growing up in my time showed me. I don't need graphics. I don't need graphics, sometimes I don't even need a story as I just said a while ago. I need gameplay, I need something to intrigue me. So that's the old school style mentality that kept me going to play games. If the gameplay is solid, or if the game core is what the developers wanted to do, I'm down for it and I'll play it. But 
sometimes people don't, you know, the devs overshoot what they want and it gets, you know, practices don't, I don't like it. Um, new consoles, yeah, I buy new consoles. I mean, I bought the Wii, I bought the, the Wii, the Wii U. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a strictly Nintendo console person. I'm, I mean, if I play, again, I got my cousins I could play Street um, PlayStation 4 at, and my friend with the Xbox One. I play other consoles by other friends' house. I live in a nice, you know, I got a, a nice collective of friends that we play all kind of consoles, and we don't do this stupid fanboy war crap in, 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 with us. We play games, we have fun. But um, yeah, console. I get the new console. Like I said, I don't always get the new one at the time because I didn't buy the 3DS. When it first came, I waited like six months before the 3D bought the, bought the new 3DS. I mean the 3DS, sorry, not, yeah, that name's confusing, but you know what I mean. Um, next question is, um, Nintendo or Sega? I say both, because like I said, I had a, when, I, when I grew up, when I, when I moved to our next country, I had an NES, my friend had a Master System. He bought a Super Nintendo, I got the, I got the Sega Genesis 2. My other friend got a Saturn and my other friend got a PlayStation. It, it, that's how why that's why I say I don't have no problem with the console war crap. It, it's irrelevant to me and most of my friends in real life. We don't care about that stuff. So Sega had some good games and, and both of them because back then more combat was different on both consoles. Like uh, let's go with t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Turtles in Time is diff is is one is one game on Super Nintendo, but then you got the High Stone that's on Genesis. It was two different games, even though they were the same game. A lot played different on Super Nintendo than in Genesis, and the Lion King and all that kind of stuff. And then back then they made they made they made unique games. They don't do that no more. Um, but let's keep on going with that. But if anything, it'll be Nintendo, <laughs> of course. Um, favorite or least favorite video character video game character huh huh favorite video game character I would say is two people I am a big fan of Samus Aaron I bought every Metroid game got um, I wear copies um, you know you know all kind of stuff like that um, Mitch they like said Link, I also love Zelda, so Link is the next one that you know stands out that I like as well. And um, Kyusuke from SRW, he's just a cool, no, no crap talking guy, just cool, calm. He gets emotional when he needs to, but he just like I just love that that, that silent protagonist, like him, like he's tough, but he don't say nothing until he has to say. So I would say those three people: Samus Aran, Link, and Kyusuke from um, SRW. Least favorite, uh, least favorite. That was kind of tough. I mean, any character that like in a story like kind of like um, Dickinson in um, Xenoblade, who was a character that you know. Spoiler alert for anybody out there listening. Sorry, but any character that like stabbed you in the back, that like, really stabbed you in the back. You're like, oh man, yeah. So. I would say him. Um, are you a let's play? Are you a let's play? And if it, uh, oh sorry. Are you a let's play? Come on, my computer. Sorry, I'm using my tablet. Are you a let's player? And if it, and if yes, what are your influences to make a gaming channel? I am not a let's player, of course. When you see the gameplay on the on the screen, like of course, but I'm not a let's play character. Um, what intrigued me to do a channel is I just wanted to share the uh, gaming, me and Katie, me brothers and sisters, share our gaming thing. Um, like I said, in 2002, I started my own company. I didn't need the next company because like I said I started a music label. And with a music label, I started at a studio because somebody wanted to help me do stuff. So I've done sound and music for game video games and scores and everything. And also audio engineering for dubbing for animes. So, like I said, I've done three games for EA, I've done one game for Ubisoft, I've done a couple of games, I did a couple, two games for Nintendo, my first anime that I worked on was uh, Cowboy Bebop, the movie, um, Gundam Double O, um, Vaxil, uh, you know, 
many more, but I'm trying to keep this short. So I only, and I started my channel because of all of that. I started my channel not just only to share the fun of gaming, but also tell people the inside of what's going on. That's why I always say the difference between pubs and devs. Devs love Nintendo. Publishers don't. They don't want to spend money on third parties. Just getting crazy with that stuff. But you check my channel out. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, let me see. Favorite video game soundtrack? Ooh. Chrono Trigger is good. Any Zelda game. I like Twilight Princess and Sonic score the most. Um, Smash Brothers, basically. The new Smash Brothers 4 that covers everything, so that should be easy for that right there. As I, you know, as I did a mix on my um, Nintendo Jukebox. The game, but the one I love the most because the most influential to me was Metroid Prime. I got to meet the. The composer, and I forget his name right now because I'm tired of working for so long. I met the composer, I asked him and Nintendo to use the title song from Metroid Prime to do as a makeup beat or in the Caribbean, what we call it as a rhythm, a rhythm. I gave the rhythm to some reggae stars. Uh, it sold, made me a good amount of money. One of the stars who took it to a next level, he, he did a, a remix with Alicia Keys. And then more money on that, so Metroid Prime is the one that's most influential in my life when it comes to the soundtrack. Um, any game recommendations? Um, the game that's on the screen right now, Bayonetta, wonderful one on one, Platinum Games do really good games. Um, Mario Kart, you gotta pick that up, but if you're a Nintendo person, you mostly got that. I would say, if I wanna be as a true gamer, I would say, um, more Master Demon Blade on on the Wii, which you could play on your Wii U. Of course, it's backwards capability. If you have a Vita, you could pick it up for Vita. It's called Rebirth. More Master Demon Blade Rebirth. Um, or in the Blind Forest is on PC. If you have an Xbox, you play it. It's a good game. And next one I would say is um, um, Freedom Planet. You play that on PC. You could also pick it up. It's coming to the Wii U. Uh, I'm a double dip. It's a good game. Excuse me. Um, let's see. If you could be a, uh, char a character from a, any video game, who would you choose and why? Basically, two characters. Um, I would choose um, no three. I'll choose two because it, I just love the, the move set. I will choose Samus Aran if I could be like a, a male version of Samus Aran because I love the character, how how the character presents herself, and I know the backstory and everything. Um, Link, because he puts you into that. Myself being the, the, the main character, of course, and I would have to say a female, a male version of Ali from Cold Princess, because she just her moves is so cool. I love that setup in that game. So those are the three. And last but not least, 115. Who do you attack? Well, since most of the people, GVGI and you knows, and I know it's almost the same, and I'm a small channel compared to everybody else. I say, yo, you don't attack. I mean, coupon on did hers, I on did hers, Bianca on did there. So I would tag, and he already tagged this person, but I would say, you know, I would say time out. Um, Maurice, he's a cool dude as well. Um, who else? Uh, I would say Elite Gaming HQ, um, Sly McFly Daily. I think those are the people who are, I would tag, tagging and Hey, and see, hey, what's you guys experiencing with, with gaming? So, as I went, as most everybody's, their videos about like nine minutes, I went a little long because I just wanted to explain myself. Most people can understand who Liger and Katie is, or Katie Flores, most people will know it as, but mostly Enduro. Uh, so, this is a cool thing, simple. Everybody's chit chatting, just talking, and Ain't no drama, ain't no crap going on. This is something just to simply stimulate your mind. So I'm cool with this. So yep, those are people I've tagged. This is my video. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna finish the work to go to my studio and finish the work with my employees, and then hopefully get 12 hours of glorious sleep. Other than that, when it comes to gaming as usual, I'm gonna end it with what I always said. There's no perfect game out there. It's perfect to you, it's not perfect to me, it's perfect to me, it's not perfect to you. Simply play damn game.